In this lab, you need to configure Network Address Translation or NAT. We've been told to configure the network as follows. We need to configure the router to get an IP address via DHCP from the ISP. So on this interface, you need to enable DHCP so that the router gets an IP address from a DHCP server. You then need to configure the router to allocate IP addresses via DHCP to the clients based on this information. The network to use is 10.1.1.0/24. The default gateway is the router 10.1.1.254. The DNS server is going to be 8.8.8.8. So you'll need to configure this interface with a static IP address as follows and configure the router to allocate IP addresses to the PCs in this subnet. You then need to configure the router so that internal hosts can access the internet using NAT or to be specific port address translation or PAT. In other words, you need to NAT these internal hosts to the IP address of the router on gigabit 001. Now, please note that I've had feedback that I'm not giving all the details or not telling you exactly what to do. Now I'm purposely doing that. I'm trying to get you to make your own decisions about the best way to implement a network. It's important that when you study for the CCNA exam that you don't just memorize things. You need to understand what you're doing and hopefully these labs will force you to do that. They will get you to think about what you're doing and to troubleshoot any mistakes that you make. If you want a step-by-step -step process of configuring the lab, watch the next video. But otherwise, try and do this yourself. Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can do it yourself. See these labs as challenges to ensure that you have the knowledge to pass your CCNA exam, but also to gain real-world knowledge that you can implement right away. So, download the packet tracer file, see if you can do it. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete this lab.